In this video, I'm going to take a look at using the mortiser. We're going to start off by taking a look at a picture, which will show the different parts of the mortiser, the faceplate, the workpiece, and the table. The one thing that doesn't show here is the adjustment of it. Obviously, uh, we'll take a look at that straight away. So when we're lining up the piece we want to mortise, we put it in line with uh, the vice grip here that we have against the faceplate, and we tighten it up. You can see the wheel here has been adjusted left and right, and it can move it in and out. I'm taking it out to the end here and adjusting the stop on the left hand side here so that it makes sure it goes through the whole piece. When I have that there, I set it and I'll raise it the, the chisel back up. When the chisel's raised back up, I can move it over here to just to make sure the alignment is right. And again, I can use the wheel by moving it left and right. And if I pull it out, um, I can move it in and out as well. So I can start the margin here now when I have it lined up. And I plunge the piece as I'm moving along it here. You can see that the opening in the hollow chisel is to the front, so it's spitting out the bits of sawdust and chippings in front of us. So I can, I just by blowing that away out of the way, you can see closer to your piece, and if you need to go back over it again, you can. On the right here, we have got a stay, which is permanently fixed to the wall to keep the lever back up uh, in place, so it doesn't accidentally fall down. And there we have our marks taken out, and a sacrificial piece and underneath it so as it doesn't bust through when the chisel's coming through the piece and you need to move that around each time and also make sure that the the, the bench here is completely free from sawdust that it's not going to obstruct the piece when it's been set back in with the sacrificial piece and that's pretty much the mortiser and really quick and useful tool for cutting out mortises